has called a city of Shalom, a city <coughs> on a hill. I close with Jeremiah 29 again, where we open our key verse, our key passage. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, shalom you, plans not to hurt you or harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Not just shalom for you, but for your family. Not just for your family, but for your city. Not just for the city, but for every nation. Not just for the nations of the world, but for the planet as a whole. And not just for planet Earth, but the whole cosmos of God. So seek the shalom of the community where you have been sent, even if it feels like exile. And pray to the Lord in its behalf, for in its shalom, you'll find your own shalom. May it be so. Amen. When you came into chapel, you should have found a uh, dove prayer card on each one of your seats. Now, uh, the dove has long been a symbol of peace, hope, and even the Spirit of God. In fact, in Matthew 3.16, the Bible says that Jesus, was, when Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit descended upon him like a dove. We'd like to use this dove as a symbol today, a symbol of our prayerful hopes that our prayers might ascend to God. And so we'd like to invite you to do two things. First, I'd ask, what is your prayer for Shalom? After hearing the presentation, where do you see Shalom needed in this world? In your lives, in your families, in your communities? We'd like you to write down some of your prayers of Shalom, prayers for health, wholeness, healing, justice, restoration, and bring them up to the altar. And we want to display those prayers on the altar in a powerful way. And the second thing I'd like to invite you to participate in is a blessing for Shalom in your life and a blessing that you may be an agent of Shalom as you go about in our world. Everybody have a uh, card? downstairs in room 101 for a hour of shalom. Five of our shalom ministers, including Marshana, who I forgot to focus her work in the Rosebud Foundation at my living, but who listened to the elders and the, and the youth, helping them do hip-hop exercise, and listening to the elders uh, give their oral histories, restoring dignity and worth in a devastated uh, reservation that has been robbed so much. You'll hear her and see her PowerPoint as well as four other PowerPoints today with lunch 
downstairs from 1205 to 1105. Let's stand together and read what we call in the community of Shalom the credo of a community developer, translated from the Chinese, written by Y.C. James Yen. Here in English, let us read together. Go to the people, live among them, learn from them. Thank you. 